Hi guys, today I'm doing something different and I'm doing a talk through makeup tutorial kind of like for beginners or if you just want to go more into depth on my makeup looks. So it's probably going to be a lot longer than normal so I apologize but I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you like these kind of talk through videos and I'm pretty much going to be explaining everything because this is pretty much for beginners. And before I get started I'm going to be using some new brushes I got. I'm going to be letting you know what I think about these as well because so many people ask me what kind of brushes I use and generally I use a mixture of a few Sigma brushes and then some CPC brushes which are like dupes of MAC brushes so um, I use those for the most part. Some of my Sigma face brushes shed a lot which I don't like so I use some other face like brushes for foundation and stuff. But this is called a My Brush Set and it comes with 27 pieces and I'm using some of them so some of them aren't in their spot. But I have a 70% off code that I thought was awesome so I'll leave it down below for you if you are interested. So I'm going to get into my makeup tutorial. Um, so I'm going to start off with foundation and this is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I'm in the color shell. I ran out of foundation recently and so I just picked this up because normally I love the Revlon Color Stay foundation. Um, I'm not a big fan of this but this is nice if you just want a little bit of coverage. Um, so let me know if you tried out any good foundations lately because I think I'm going to need to pick up a new one because I, this is just eh, a Real Techniques brush and it's the Expert Face Brush and I got this at Ulta. I think I got it online actually. And then I just use this to blend in my foundation. And it's a very, very light coverage, like I said. I like a little bit more coverage than this gives you, but make sure to go on top of your eyes because you have a whole bunch of veins in your eyes and it looks so much different just if you cover it with foundation. So I'm really interested to know what your favorite foundation is, like of all time, and if there's any new ones out that you like or you would like me to try out for you and kind of give me a, or for me to give you guys a review on. And now I'm going to be using my Revlon Color Stay Concealer. This concealer's okay, I'm just trying to use it up. As you can see, it's almost all gone. It didn't really last too long, but I wouldn't really recommend this um, either. Poor Revlon, normally I love their products, but this this one was okay. Um, nothing crazy good. And this is supposed to be an under eye concealer and I have the worst bags under my eyes just from allergies and everything and this just doesn't cover it all. So I've really been liking this NYX one, it's the HD Photogenic Concealer. I did it in my last makeup haul, I showed it and I really like that one. It covers really well. Um, next I'm using a powder to set it and I'm using my Bare Minerals. This is the powder foundation. I don't like using it just as a foundation because even though it's in the color medium it comes out extremely um, pale looking. Even though I'm really pale right now it comes out like paler than I am. So I like using it on top and it kind of just matches the color that I'm wearing and I really like it. And it keeps my face from getting super oily. So I always like setting my foundation with the powder because it will help your face from just kind of oily. And it's really going to help like make your foundation stay in place. So I don't use too much because I don't want it to be cakey. But I just kind of, I put a little bit in the lid and then I just swirl my brush around. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows. I don't always do this, but it totally makes your look way more complete. This is the NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil, and I also showed this in my last haul. I really like it as well. So I'm just using the brush, and using a brush and doing filling in your eyebrows really helps. You could shape your eyebrows almost however you want. You just kind of brush them how you want them to go. Like, I like having a little arch right there, so you just brush it like that. And then I lightly, lightly, lightly fill them in. Now that my hair is lighter, I don't like filling them in too dark. So I'm just gently going over. Next, I'm going to contour just a little bit with my NYC um, Sunny Bronzer. I love this stuff. This is like the second one that I've almost used up. Um, and I'm not using a contour brush today, actually. I've been using my powder brush 
just because I'm so pale, it leaves a really defined line if I use a brush like this. So I've been using just a powder brush and I'll show you what I do. So this just gets a little bit of bronzer on it because I don't want to contour extremely. Um, so I just kind of pinch the brush like this so it's a little bit more like the other brush and then I make it look like I have some cheekbones because I don't. <laughs> I mean, I do, but they're not defined. That'd be crazy if I didn't have cheekbones. And I also like to define up on my forehead a little bit, just like around here. And I just use the whole brush for that. So as you can see, it's not too defined, but you could see a little bit of color. Okay, now for blush. I've been really liking this NYX blush lately. It's in the color Spice. It's a really pretty just color. I also really like this e.l.f. one, and it is in the color Tickled Pink. e.l.f. has some really pretty brushes, blushes and, you know, great price weight. I can't tell. Great price and great quality. So for this, I use a smaller brush like this. Um, this is the larger one I have from Sigma, and this is the CPC one I have. Um, so I'm using this one. And for this blush, you barely, barely even need to tap your brush because it's so pigmented. Otherwise, you'll look like a clown. So I just like dap it twice and then just apply it to my cheeks and then out this way. And I kind of just like lightly put it on and kind of like, I don't know, in a circle-ish motion. And now I take this big brush again and just kind of blend it outwards to get rid of any harsh lines. So it looks a little bit more seamless. So even leaving my makeup like this in the summertime, I like to do, um, it's not difficult and it just... It, as you can see, I look a lot better now than I did at the beginning of the video just because my face is all done, my eyebrows are done. So sometimes I just leave it like this or just apply a little bit of mascara. But I'm going to do a full face look for you guys, obviously, today. So I'm going to zoom in on my eye. So this Lorac Little Pro Primer came with my Lorac Pro, Pro, Pro Palette. So I've just been using it just because it's smaller and quicker to use up. So basically, a primer is just going to have your eyeshadow last a lot longer and just make the colors really pop. Some colors you'll see are very dull. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to my eyes. So for my eyes, I'm going to go for a matte look because I think matte colors look great on anybody. Um, and with glitter eyeshadow you kind of have to be careful and blend it really well so for beginners I really like matte shadows and I'm using my Lorac Pro palette you could use any eyeshadows you want this just has a lot of matte colors to choose from this whole top row is matte I'm going to be using this cream color on my lid and I'm just going to be using this flat eyeshadow brush from the my blush set my brush set and applying the cream all over my lid And now I'm going to take this fluffy brush from, and it's a CPC brush, and I'm using this taupe color, which is like a light brown, and I'm going to work that into my crease first. This is going to be kind of like my transition color. I'm just going to work it all the way up, and I like this, I'm, I want this to be really smoked out, so I'm even going up a little bit higher up in the front and out here, because I'm going to darken it up. But this is going to be my lightest brown color, so I'm pretty much going all the way up to my eyebrow and just leaving a little bit of space. I'm going to be using this really fluffy brush from Sigma and just blending this all out. There's no product on this, but it's just going to blend it all out. Now I'm taking this more defined dome brush. Um, I'm taking that same taupe color and I'm going back in the crease and this is going to darken it up because if you use a more defined brush with the same color, it's going to come out darker. So I'm going to work this into my crease first.
Then I'm using this pencil brush from CPC as well. And I'm using Sable, which is a little bit darker color. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner. So as you can see how dark it is. Now this isn't blended yet at all. So we're just going to apply it where we want the color and not worry about blending it for now. See how crazy that looks? And now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, just in this outer portion here. Now what I like to do is go back with this fluffy brush, put taupe on it, which again is that light color, and I'm going to use that to blend it together. Like that. Then you just keep blending it till it's as blended as you would like. So what I like to do for my lower lashes is I'm going to take a really defined angled brush and this is from the My Brush Set 2 and I'm using Sable which is this dark, the darkest color that I used right here and I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. Um, sometimes I do use eyeliner all the way through but it's really harsh especially for the summertime so I'm just going under right here and you could see how this eyeshadow is going to look like eyeliner but I'm not putting it on my waterline that'll make my eyes look more open even though I have big eyes to start with uh -huh. so I'm just going to go like that and now for my upper lash line I'm using um, this Revlon Colorstay liquid pen. I start in the center and then I work my way outwards. So I'm I go as thin as I can at first because you could always go thicker, but it's super hard to outside I'll go a little bit thicker than I do on the inside. Always curl my lashes, so going to curl them. Definitely make sure your eyeliner is dried on the top. <clears throat> okay, and the mascara that I really like lately is this Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express. And so I go all the way down to the bottom and then just wiggle it all the way to the top like so. And then I just kind of brush it a couple times. I go wiggle Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then for my bottom lashes, I turn it the other way, like this. And whatever's left on the brush, I just put a little bit on it. I wiggle, pull, wiggle, pull, just so there is a little mascara. Alrighty, and here is where I would apply any lipstick. Today I'm just going to wear lip gloss. I like this. This is just the pure soft lips 100% natural um, it's clear and it leaves your lips looking a little bit more pink so there's the finished look let me know if you guys like this video where I talk through probably won't do it as often because it can get kind of long but this is just a little more in-depth for those of you who aren't too familiar with applying makeup in a quick getting ready video you can't really see what I'm doing so I hope you guys found this helpful I also want to thank you guys for 60,000 subscribers holy cow never would have imagined that at all when I get to 100,000 I'm going to be doing a long video where I call some of you guys so help me get to 100,000 so I could do that and also um, like I said before with the brushes I will leave a 70% off code in the link for you guys down below if you want some more brushes or need some brushes um, I would definitely recommend the CPC um, I like some of the Sigma brushes and I really like the Real Techniques face brushes that I got from Ulta so I like those too. Um, so anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Leave me some ideas for videos you would like to see, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!